guys what is up welcome back to a brand new video on the channel now today i will be doing part two of the simulator tutorial series that i started last episode so make sure you watch part one if you haven't already i will leave a link in the description or you can click the info card on the top right corner so anyways in part two we will be doing a few things which will be making the player get bigger when he gets stronger making a shop so that he can upgrade his tools and we will also be doing some modifications to the weight tool script so that we can actually modified properties okay so let's start off by going into starter pack into the, our weight tool and going into the strength script so last time what we did is we made it so that every click gives us plus five strength as you can see here but since now we're going to make different types of weights so that they can be upgraded we're going to make this a different thing so let's let's keep this like this for now and go over to the weight click the plus button and type in int value and click this one now we're going to rename this value to strength increase and as you can see in the properties window you can actually modify the value in this object so we're gonna give this value one so now instead of plus five we're going to make it so that it increases depending on what the value in this object is so we're gonna do script dot parent dot strength increase dot value so now instead of plus five we're gonna get plus one because in the properties tab we wrote one so we're going to go back into our game and click play and as you can see when we click we're going to get one strength each time so now if we stop the game we can go back into the script and we're going to do some more modifications so we're going to start off by finding the character so we're going to do local character equals game dot players square brackets and script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot name dot character okay now we're going to do definition for the humanoid so we're going to do local humanoid equals character dot humanoid so now what we're going to do with this is we're going to make it so that every time he gets more strength we're going to resize the player to make him bigger so we're going to do humanoid dot body depth scale equals one plus and then open and close brackets and inside its brackets we're going to do strength dot value divided by 100 just like this and basically what this does is we're going to modify the body depth scale for the strength value so we're going to do dot value here so that it works properly and we're going to actually define the strength value here because it's only defined here so far but we need to define it again so we're going to put it here and here we're going to do character dot name just like that so now we're gonna just copy this and we're gonna paste it two more times so that we can modify this we're gonna make this width and this one height so before we continue we need to actually go back into this line and do colon weight for child and close inverted commas and brackets just like this so game.players character.name colon weight for child leader stats dot strength okay so that it waits for the leader stats before it actually searches for the strength so now what we're going to do is we're going to do strength dot changed colon connect open brackets function open brackets close brackets so what this does is it's an event that is triggered every time the strength has been changed so all we need to just do is just copy this part and put it in here and we're going to select these and click tab on our keyboard so that it's actually aligned just like this and this should work properly so we're going back into the tutorial and click play so now what you notice is that you are larger than usual because you have the amount of strength so now every time you click the weight you're going to get just a bit bigger as you can see you might see that it's hard to notice but it's happening as you can see we're getting a little bit bigger every time so that is basically how you get bigger while getting more strength so now we're going to do a shop for the game so we're going to go ahead and go into start gui and click screen gui we're going to click text button and we're going to place this wherever you want but we're going to go over to the properties make sure these are 0.1 comma 0 comma 0.1 comma 0 these are basically so that it's scaled with the screen and not with the pixels so we're going to actually scale this however you want now and we're going to actually place this to the side you can place it wherever you want but uh i think this is a good place to put it we're gonna name this shop okay so you can design it however you want but i think i'm just gonna leave it like this so to make it the tutorial simple 
but I recommend you put text scaled on so that the text is as big as the button. So now that we have the button, we're going to actually go ahead and right click the button and go into insert object and go to local script. We need to actually go back and go into screen GUI and click frame. This is basically the window that will be opened when the character wants to open the shop. So we're going to place this here. And we're also going to put a text label inside of it. So we're just going to drag this into the frame just like that. And we're just going to drag this to make sure that this is resized on the top. We're just going to give this a title. So we're going to name this weight shop. So this is where they buy the weight. So we're going to just scale this up. Make sure it's text scale just like that. We can make the background transparent as well. Just like that so we don't have an outline. And now we're just going to simply go ahead and put a text button inside so we're just going to drag this into the frame. It's going to give this some different color so that you can actually see the difference. So I'm just going to place this here. I'm going to name this five. I'm going to scale this up. We're also going to go ahead and put in another text label. Make sure it's in the frame as well. And we're going to align this with the button just like that. It's going to make this scale. You can make it transparent. You can design however you wanted this to look. So we're just going to make it very simple. We're going to name this weight level two so right uh the character obviously spawns with a level one weight so they can buy the level two weight in the shop so we can just copy this uh, by just selecting these two by holding control and then click control d on your keyboard and drag it so that they're duplicated and then we're going to click this one and we're going to make this weight level three Okay, just like that. So here in the shop, they can buy level two and level three. So now we're just gonna make this invisible. So we're just gonna click on the frame and click visible off, just like that. So now we're going over to the button and into the local script that we made. We're gonna do script.parent.mouse button one down, colon connect, open brackets function, open brackets, close brackets. So what this does is Whenever the button is clicked, this whatever is in here is going to run. So we're going to do script.parent.parent.frame.visible equals true. Okay, so whenever this button is clicked, the frame will become visible. So now to make the frame close down, we're just going to do something else. We're going to do if script.parent.parent.frame.visible then and we're just going to take this control x to cut and we're going to place this here we're just going to make this false enter and type in else enter again and just paste it over here as well now we're just going to remove this line and we have this script right here so basically we have this script inside this button and we have the frame that will be turned visible when the button is clicked and if the frame is already visible and we click the button again the frame will close down so let's test it by clicking play okay so we have our strength our weight over here and we have the shop so if we click the shop it's visible as you can see if we click it again it will go away so this works perfectly fine so we can actually stop this and script the shop itself before we script the shop we're actually going to close this down go back into the starter pack and put the weight back into the workspace now we're just going to click move to find where it is and we're over here we're going to go over here we're just going to take this weight so we're going to click here the explorer click ctrl d to duplicate it and we have another one we're going to click ctrl d again to duplicate it and we have another one so now we have three weights so this is going to be level one level two and level three so now we're just going to modify this we can actually make different colors by uh, checking the property use part color and changing the color. So let's make this a different color. For example, this color. And we can just click this one, use part color, and let's make this blue. So as you can see, we have three different styles. So this will be level one, as I said, level two and level three. So now if we click on the level 2 we can obviously see that it's selected and we can go into strength increase and make this 2 so this means that level 2 will give you 2 strength per click level 1 will give you 1 strength per click now we're gonna go over to level 3 
and strength increase and make this three so this means that level three will give you three strength per click okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually grab these and we're gonna rename the first one to weight one the second one to weight two and the third one to weight three so this means that this one is level one level two and level three cut them and paste them into the starter pack if you didn't know if you press Control shift v you can paste something into another folder so now that we have all the weights in the starter pack we're just gonna leave weight one in here take the other ones and place them into the replicated storage so this is basically hidden away from the player so that they can be accessed later so since we have the shop we can actually buy them from the shop and they will show up in the backpack so we're going over to server script service and points management so in this script we're gonna make it so that the player can obviously buy the stuff so what we're gonna do is we're going over to replicated storage click the plus button and type in remote event so as you can see it shows up over here click this now we're just gonna rename this to buy item so this will be triggered whenever the player wants to buy something so we're going over back to the points management script I'm going to do game dot replicated storage dot buy item dot on server event colon connect open brackets function open brackets close brackets inside these brackets we're going to type in plr comma wait so now as you can see there is the player that will be buying the weight and the weight which the player wants to buy so before we continue we're going to actually go back to these weights and we're going to take this click ctrl d so as i said before this is a integer value is basically a number stored inside of it so now if we take the duplicated version we can name this price so now inside this value we're going to give the price for the weight so let's make this a hundred so for example weight two costs a hundred strength to buy and weight 3 we're just going to take this Control c and Control v so that we can paste it into the weight so now we're just going to take this and we're going to give this a different price so let's do 150 so weight level 3 will cost 150 and weight level 2 will cost 100 so now we're just going to close these down go back into points management and we're going to do if plr dot leader stats dot strength dot value is bigger or equal to weight dot price dot value then I'm just gonna copy this plr dot leader stats dot strength dot value equals the same thing minus weight dot price dot value so if the player can actually afford the weight, uh, the price will be deducted from the player's strength and we will be giving the weight to the player. So what we're going to do is local new weight equals weight colon clone. So we're going to take the weight, which will be put into this variable. And before we put it into the player's backpack, we're going to remove the current weight so that we can replace it with the new weight. So we're going to do local old weight equals plr dot backpack colon find first child of class. And in the parentheses, we're going to type in tool. Just like that and now we're gonna remove it so we're gonna do old weight colon destroy now we're just gonna place the new weight into the player's backpack so we're gonna do new weight dot parent equals plr dot backpack and there we go we can actually buy them now but first of all we need to actually script this into the shop so we can close the points management script and close the other script that we have if we go into the starter gui screen gui we're going back into the frame 
we're just gonna make this visible for a bit and we're gonna give this a price so we said that level 2 will be a hundred strength so we're gonna do buy as text and brackets hundred strength so that the player knows how much it costs and in this one we're gonna do 150 because that's the price that we gave it so buy 150 strength just like that so now we're just gonna script these buttons so we're going to over to the text button and right click insert local script just gonna do script dot parent dot mouse button one down colon connect open brackets function open brackets close brackets and now in here we're gonna type in game dot replicated storage dot buy item colon fire server and game dot replicated storage dot wait two. So it's going to request to buy the wait level two. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take this script and paste it into the other button. So for the second button, we're going back into the script and we're gonna put this as wait three. So that this is for level three and this is for level two. If we close the starter GUI, actually before we do that, we're going back to the frame and make it invisible again. So now if we click play, see we have our strength and our weight. So this is level one, as you can see, we can click to get bigger. Now if we go to the shop, we have enough strength because level two costs 150 and we have 225. So if we click this, it takes some of our strength, but it gives us level two, as you can see here. So if we close the shop, we have the second weight now, we can use this to get bigger even faster now. So we can also buy the level 3, so we're gonna click this. As you can see, it took some of our strength, and it seems like there is an error as you can see. So we're gonna actually have to fix this, so we're gonna click stop, we're gonna back into server script service and point. So what the error shows is that if the player has the weight in his hand, then he can't buy another weight so we need to actually fix that by doing or plr dot character and copy this part from the colon till the end paste it here so or plr dot character colon find first child of class tool so now this should work perfectly fine we're gonna actually play so we have weight level one we can get bigger so if we open up the shop and by level three as you can see now it works perfectly fine and we have weight level three so now we can get bigger even faster so that is how to make a shop and how to make different weight levels so that you can have different upgrades for your game and how to get bigger when you get more strength as you can see so that is it for part two of the tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys later in part three so have fun and good luck.